Social welfare has its roots in voluntary action and had been sustained by it from several centuries in the past up to the present. At international level, it has a glorious tradition of organizing voluntary social work. The term voluntarism is derived from the Latin word voluntas which means will or freedom. In the UN terminology, voluntary organizations are called non-governmental organizations. These are also identified as voluntary organizations and action groups. The term voluntary association is defined by Lord Beveridge as a voluntary organization properly speaking is an organization which whether its workers are paid or unpaid. Voluntary organizations have made commendable contributions in rendering social welfare services in democratic, socialistic and welfare states in different parts of the world. In this lesson, we will discuss about several voluntary international organizations. Objectives By the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand the concept of voluntary organizations, understand the philosophy and function of voluntary organizations, and identify and learn the role of international voluntary organizations for the protection of people's welfare. International Voluntary Organizations An international voluntary organization is an organization which helps people volunteer abroad. It is a non-governmental organization. Each and every international volunteer organization conduct many programs focusing on assisting needy people. The main objective of these international voluntary organizations is 1. To provide voluntary services over all the world. 2. To make people of various race and culture to come in one banner and help the different people. 3. To help needy and poor. And lastly, to help underdeveloped nations to reach the abundant wealth of developed nations. Now let us look into International Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement. The International Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement is an international humanitarian movement with approximately 80 million volunteers, members and staff worldwide, which was founded to protect human life and health, to ensure respect for all human beings and to prevent and elevate human suffering. The movement consists of several distinct organizations that are legally independent from each other, but are united within the movement through common basic principles, objectives, symbols, statutes and governing organizations. Since its creation in 1863, the International Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement's sole objective has been to ensure protection and assistance of victims of armed conflict and strife. Its story is about the development of humanitarian action, the Geneva Conventions and the Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement. The International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, is a private humanitarian institution founded in 1863 in Geneva, Switzerland, in particular by Henry Duntan and Gustave Moynier. Its 25-member committee has a unique authority under international humanitarian laws to protect the life and dignity of the victims of international and internal armed conflicts. The ICRC was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize on three occasions in 1917, 1944 and 1963. The International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, IFRC, were founded in 1919 and today it coordinates activities between 190 National Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies within the movement. On an international level, the federations lead and organizes in close cooperation with the National Society's Relief Assistance Machine responding to large scale emergencies. The International Federation Secretariat is based in Geneva, Switzerland. In 1963, 
the federation then known as the league of red cross societies was awarded the nobel peace prize jointly with icrc national red cross and red crescent societies exist in nearly every country in the world currently 190 national societies are registered by the icrc and admitted as full members of the federation each entity works in its home country according to the principles of international humanitarian law and the status as of the international movement depending on their specific circumstances and capacities national societies can take on additional humanitarian tasks that are not directly defined by international humanitarian law or the mandates of international movement in many countries there are tightly linked to the respective national healthcare system by providing emergency health services international council of voluntary agencies icva international council of voluntary agencies is a global network of non governmental organizations whose mission is to make humanitarian action more principled and effective by working collectively and independently to influence policy and practice established in 1962 by a small coalition of refugee and migration focused non governmental organizations icva has grown into a diverse network of ngos operating at global regional national and local levels icva advocates for principled humanitarian action enhanced recognition by governments and international organizations of the vital role of ngos in high quality partnerships among humanitarian stakeholders icva promotes a rights and need based approach icva maintains its historical focuses on focused displacement while at the same time addressing fundamental and emerging elements of concerns to ngos relating to all crisis affected population the icva governing body the board is elected by the general assembly which meets once in 3 years the board ensures that the secretariat aligns its financial and operational capacity and annual work plans with the four year strategy including key indicators targets routine monitoring and annual reporting to maintain accountability to members and donors every 3 years icva general assembly brings icva members together to celebrate the network and agree on strategy for the following 3 years it is also the time when general assembly elects a new board and chair and discusses other business matters such as amending the icva statutes voluntary service overseas voluntary service overseas is working in 24 developing countries across africa asia and pacific voluntary service overseas began in 1958 when ali and mora dixon recruited and sent 16 british volunteers overseas in response to a letter from the bishop of portsmouth asking for people to teach english in borney much has changed since then vso has engaged over 72000 volunteers to work on developmental programs in more than 120 countries vso operates internationally through a series of international fundraising and recruitment hubs and a strong network of program officers in developing countries vso is governed by the international board and executive board the executive board is the main decision making group within vso it holds responsibility for quarterly setting and reviewing of objectives budget and the strategic direction of vso the international board meets at least 3 times a year in person and 4 times a year via telephone vso's youth advisers attend vso international board meetings and ensure the thoughts opinions and perspectives of young people are included in decision making vso works strategically towards the achievement of development outcomes in line with national and global priorities it works on holistic and multi sectoral approach engaging at all levels of decision making and implementation working in partnership with organizations and institutions that span the public private and civil society sectors vso's people to people approach is directed towards ensuring development interventions 
are both locally owned and designed so that they are sustainable in the long term. They do this by building human and social capital, strengthening institutions and facilitating the global exchange of skills, knowledge and ideas through volunteers. In recent development, the VSO volunteers and partners reached 2.4 million people by the year 2017. Doctors Without Borders Doctors Without Borders, Medicines Sand Frontiers, MSF, are a private international association. The association is made up mainly of doctors and health sector workers and is also open to all other professions which might help in achieving its aims. All its members agree to honour the following principles. MSF provides assistance to populations in distress, to victims of natural or man-made disasters and to victims of armed conflict. They do so irrespective of race, religion, creed or political convictions. MSF observes neutrality and impartiality in the name of universal medical ethics and the right to humanitarian assistance and claims full and unhindered freedom in the exercise of its functions. It offers assistance to people based on need and irrespective of race, religion, gender or political affiliation. Doctors Without Borders or Medicines and Frontiers was awarded with Nobel Prize in the year 1999 for organizing pioneering humanitarian work on several continents and honored medical staff that worked in more than 80 countries and treated 10 million people. Since 1980, MSF has opened offices in 28 countries and employed more than 30,000 people across the world. Since its inception, MSF has treated over 100 million patients with 8.25 million outpatient consultations being carried out in 2014 alone. MSF has also maintained its institutional and financial independence and the organization has continued to be critical of both itself and the broader AIM system when appropriate, all in the name of trying to help direct, more effective and timely aid to those who need it most. In many places, Doctors Without Borders or Medicines and Frontiers is able to have an impact beyond its immediate activities, reaching populations or pioneering the use of practices in ways that have far-reaching and lasting consequences. Foundation for Sustainable Development Foundation for Sustainable Development achieves community-driven goals through asset-based development and international exchange in Africa, Asia and Latin America. FSD strives to make lasting sustainable changes that are deeply rooted in the community and driven by the community members themselves. With a rich portfolio of programs, FSD enables students, professionals and philanthropists to join together and support life-changing international work led by local grassroots leaders and organizations in eight locations, say Argentina, Bolivia, India, Kenya, Nicaragua, Uganda, etc. across the world. By working directly with on-site FSD staff, local organizations, supervisors and members of the community, program participants, design or support projects that reflect the host community's priorities. This careful training, planning and support that go into volunteering and interning with FSD leads to sustainable change that is truly community driven. FSD has trained over 500 organizations and funded more than 2000 projects aimed at improving the quality of life in communities around the world. It has awarded 495 competitive grants for project proposals by community organizations that show strong potential for replication sustainability and effective impact in the community. Over 3,500 volunteers and interns from 50 countries have been trained by FSD's experienced field staff and connected to grassroots organizations across the world. The partner organizations of FSD have reported that 80% of projects are ongoing and another 13% of the projects continue but have evolved. United Nations Volunteers, UNV. 
the United Nations General Assembly created United Nations Volunteers in 1970 with an initial mandate to provide qualified and motivated volunteers for the United Nations system in support of peace and development in operational countries. Over nearly five decades, the scope of UN volunteers mandate has expanded driven by constantly changing global environment and a wider recognition of the value of volunteerism. A series of UN decisions now direct UN volunteer activities and results to focus on youth engagement and on demonstrating how integrating volunteering in peace and developmental projects and programs can widen and deepen impact. The changes in the development paradigm over the years also created a shift from international technical cooperation towards greater support for national and homegrown solutions achieved by strengthening national and local capacities. Likewise, the growing vulnerability of communities due to exposure to recurrent natural disasters and conflict has demanded a much more robust humanitarian intervention globally. These trends are reflected in UN volunteer mobilization and programming for the Sustainable Development Goals SGDs, and peacekeeping. UN volunteers have evolved greatly over past 42 years in terms of the size and spread its mandates, results and activities driven by changing external environment for peace, development and the eradication of poverty by the wider acknowledgement of role of volunteerism globally and by intergovernmental legislation. All around the world, UN volunteers help people lead more productive and fulfilling lives such as through their work on projects in quality education and improved health care or by ensuring equitable access to community resources and sustainable practices. UN volunteers at times also work with governments and other local partners helping to boost local capacities and augment knowledge. UN volunteers usually live in the communities they serve and importantly, they are perceived as politically and socially neutral. As non-threatening global citizens, UN volunteers greatly facilitate the building of bridges between various groups by promoting dialogue and fostering situations of confidence and trust. Thus, UN volunteers is a key partner in delivering humanitarian and early recovery assistance through the establishment of standby capacities for humanitarian response through its UN volunteers. UN volunteers can assist UN agency partners during the initial phase of the emergency as well as during the recovery phase. International Voluntary Service The International Voluntary Service is a peace organization working for the sustainable development of local and global communities throughout the world. It is a leading charity service which has existed since 1931 involving volunteers in international exchanges at home and abroad. International Voluntary Projects International Voluntary Service is a British branch of Service Civil International, a worldwide network of like-minded branches and partner organizations supporting the mutual exchange of volunteers to work on projects of direct benefit to local communities. It is recognized by UN as the oldest international volunteering organization in the UK. International voluntary services deliver a range of activities, the largest which is coordinating a program of international voluntary projects in Great Britain, which are run in partnership with local voluntary organizations and community groups. A typical project consists of 6 to 15 volunteers from several countries who work and live together for one to three weeks. Projects are diverse, ranging from environmental con conservation to supporting refugees or from holiday play schemes for children to working with people with learning difficulties. Additional activities include enabling disadvantaged young people to take part in international youth exchanges for one to three weeks, enabling homeless people to volunteer on an international volunteer project within the UK, coordinate bilateral exchanges for youth groups, deliver peace education to senior secondary school pupils, and to coordinate an employee volunteering scheme. 
It supports various aspects linked to international cooperation and conflict resolution such as exchanges to countries in the global south and from time to time they run specialized training programs. Through international network, it also enables volunteers from Great Britain to take part in international projects abroad and become involved in peace initiatives through international volunteering. Youth Unlimited Youth Unlimited helps young people discover their potential. Whenever the young people feel alone, marginalized, vulnerable or just need somewhere fun but safe to connect, Youth Unlimited is there to walk with them, help them learn life skills, support their growth as a person and discover their potential. The organization aims to make genuine connections with young people and support them with the help they need, be it physical, mental, social, emotional or spiritual. Youth Unlimited is a chartered member of Youth Unlimited Canada and a part of Youth for Christ, an international non-denominational Christian ministry founded in the early 1940s. As a non-profit, it solely relies on the generosity of donors who support staff as well as operations. Habitat for Humanity The concept that grew into Habitat for Humanity was born in the USA at Koinania Farm, a small interracial Christian farming community. Komnania Farm was founded in 1942 outside of America, Georgia, by farmer and biblical scholar Clarence Jordan and others to promote racial reconciliation. Habitat for Humanity serves a record 81,399 families worldwide. It surpasses its 5 lakh home milestone with celebrations in Kenya, followed by New Jersey, USA. Nearly 2 lakh of these homes are in Asia-Pacific region. It currently works in nearly 70 countries and has helped more than 9.8 million people with improved living conditions since 1976. Volunteers are invited to work in Habitat offices on short and long term basis to participate in major Habitat events and to serve in leadership roles such as being members of Habitat boards of directors. Habitat blitz builds and special events bring large number of volunteers together to build complete homes in few days and highlight the need to tackle substandard housing. The best known is annual Jimmy and Rosalind Carter work project. Such events require non-building volunteers to help out in such roles as managing welcome desk, to supervise meal arrangements, to handle safety issues, etc. In nutshell, it brings together youth from across Asia-Pacific region to support people and families in need of decent housing. Every young person volunteering, fundraising, raising awareness and adding their voices in support for affordable housing can help families achieve the strength, stability and self-reliance they need to build lives, they need to build better lives for themselves. The movement encourages youth to take the lead and motivate their peers to build homes and communities. Let's summarize the session. An international voluntary organization is an organization which helps people volunteer abroad. It is a non-governmental and non-profitable organization. Each and every international volunteer organization conduct many programs focused on assisting needy people and disabled, children and women and so on.